This is a demonstration of hand animation techniques in Equalizer. So normally, everything solves by itself just with the points and you don't have to do any hand tracking. But this shot here is an example of something that could be more complicated. Oftentimes you'll have a shot where you don't have enough reference for the auto tracking to work, so you have to manually put some keyframes in. So what we're going to do on this shot is pretend that we don't have the C stand as a reference. With the background points and the C stand, it's quite easy to get a um, no constraint free move and calculate focal length all at the same time. But if they had not cleverly put in the C stand, then the shot could be quite difficult. So we'll do some hand tracking to get it to work. So if we look at uh, the curve editor, we can see that the only way to really get a solve on this of any kind is that we did a nodal fixed camera position. So the first thing we're going to do, since we don't have any survey or anything, is we're going to use the nudge tool and get our first frame line up. And then what we're going to do after that is just put in a couple keyframes for translation because we've got plenty of points here for rotation. Put in two keyframes for translation and then we'll use the surveyed solver to complete the work. So we want to do let's get a nice lineup on her. And notice by doing this in screen space it'll be easier to do this lineup. Of course you can never get a uh, perfect lineup on this because it's just a generic character. Okay, And just for fun I'll store this pose. And then what we have to do anytime you use the survey solver here it requires survey points and right now we don't have any survey points in this. So in order to use the push points tool uh, the points will have to be surveyed. What we want to do is we want to get all these points to be uh, planar, you know, be, uh, like it really is with the green screen in the back. So for reasons that are slightly complicated, um, we're going to do a reverse reel in because this point right here that's behind the camera won't even push properly with this tool. All points that you push have to be in front of the camera. So take my word for it, the easy way in this case is to do a reverse reel in and then all the points are reeled in and now I can take this point here which I've decided is my hero and then I'm going to push it away and that's approximately the distance that the actual green screen was uh, behind the actor because I saw the Hollywood camera work behind the scenes footage and that's where it is. So I'm going to switch this from camera position to point position and then it this point here will be the pivot and then when I select the rest of these, they should compress together. You can see right here into almost being planted. They don't have to be perfectly planted for what we're doing. So we've done by the reverse reel in. You know the uh, the geo uh, line loop was actually below frame before, so now it's pulled in. So it's in frame and everything is in front of the camera. So now we've got a nice geometry to work with. Now, with many of the uh, tools, uh, they'll bake your curve every time. So we don't care about these rotation curves anymore because those are going to be recalced by this tool here. You can see right here on the LSF solver, um, we're going to animate the uh, translations and then the rotations will calc for a pan and tilt. But first, so what we're going to do is Let's take all the curves except for frame one and delete them. So I have a clean slate. So then go right here and so it's right now it's a static move. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just manually line this up. So I've got a good line up on uh, her head. And what we'll try to do is um, get a nice approximate move here, position. 
for the background and then we'll just translate here now we're going to back pan a little bit so notice that the near when you translate the near objects will have more and more apparent motion than the background objects because standard parallax issues okay so let me store this also which we could use if we run into trouble so we only have two frames and notice this is sliding around so now we can go to the um, see right here we just have two keys so now we're going to do is bring this up the LSF solver and it's just going to solve for X and Y rotation because our translations are um, already solved for just manually by visually looking at uh, her face lineup so we'll calculate here and then we use the results so that's looking fairly good now the only thing again uh, is that that's not locking so we're going to change the weight to fix that so of course a solve like this will never be perfect because we're intentionally not using foreground points or we don't have any foreground points at all so what we'll do is let's take the pivot point here and give it a weight of a thousand as an example and that means that when we use the LSS survey solver at this point will lock perfectly and these other ones will not lock so we'll just solve again notice we've got a lower deviation use the result and we can see that the uh, it's not perfect right here on her face you know she's moving her face maybe we need a couple more keys on the uh, translations but that's a lot walking locking nicely and that's only sliding a little bit but you won't notice and um, there's many other ways of doing hand animation in equalizer for example this tool here the Pacha object camera offset curve editor can be very useful as well